Hey guys, Robbie here. This is a weird video because uh, I'm outside in my, my building's side alley. Uh, I live in New York City, for those that don't know. I live in an apartment. Not a lot of space for anything, really, you know. Uh, but I'm working on some guitars, uh, doing some refinishing with rattle cans, painting them. And, uh, you know, I don't have a shop. So I got to do things outside when weather permits, when there's no rain, when it's about 50 degrees and the sun's out, whatever. So I just wanted to make a quick video while I'm waiting for some paint to dry about um, some tips you can take to uh, help yourself in your refinished journey. Uh, if you have an older guitar you're just tired of, uh, you want to repaint it, you want to do some work, you want to experiment, just, uh, you know, if you're home, lockdown, quarantine, social distance, whatever, during this COVID-19 crisis, get a little creative. You paint some shit, you know, uh, have some paints delivered to your house, go pick them up, wear your masks, whatever. Uh, speaking of masks, what I will say is that I have a paper mask here uh, with a little filter on the front. Uh, they're really like a particle mask for dust, you know, concrete dust, particles, whatever, small stuff. Um, not really for fumes. So, first tip is I would recommend if you're doing any kind of paint, whether it be rattle cans or spray paint or uh, anything using chemicals at all. Uh, if a label has a warning on it for particulates or fumes, get yourself a good respirator. Uh, they're usually rubber, they fit to your face, they have detachable filters. Those are the best. Uh, those filter out particles and fumes going to keep you from not only getting lightheaded and getting sick, which could be fun, but we'll get into that another time, but it stops the paint particles uh, and the adhesives and the propellants from getting into your lungs and sticking to the wet membranes inside your lungs and giving you a big problem breathing. Especially with this virus going around, you don't need any help not breathing or less help breathing. Uh, definitely get yourself some kind of mask. These uh, paper masks are good but not great. The respirators are better than you can order them on Amazon or anywhere else you would like to get them from. Uh, second tip, glasses. I'm wearing sunglasses, uh, but you should get some kind of, these are actually safety sunglasses. They have this little thing on the side. Um, cause it's sunny out cause I'm outside. If you're indoors, maybe you just want clear glasses or goggles. Definitely get yourself some eye protection. Uh, you never know things, especially if you're sanding, things get in your eye. Propellants from the spray guns, they get in your eyes. Anything can get in your eyes, really. You only got two of them, so protect your eyes. Uh, they're important. Third tip, gloves. I'm using these rubber palm gloves with like a Kevlar non-cut back. Uh, they're not great. You should probably have latex or rubber gloves. Um, those are best to keep stuff from getting into your hands. Uh, as you can see, I took off my gloves once or twice and I got a little red on them, but for the most part, you should wear gloves when you're using any kind of chemicals, which includes paints. Uh, it can also, while you're sanding, it keeps irritants from getting on your hands or if you slip with the sander, uh, it's at least, it might not be a gauntlet of steel, but it's some kind of line of defense for your hands. Again, uh, you know, you really only get like two hands, um, five digits, two thumbs. It's important to take care of them. Things happen fast, man, especially if you're using any kind of woodworking tools like saws, chisels, um, you know, heat guns, anything. Things happen fast and you don't want to cut up your hands that you need to play your guitar. So don't be uh, tough and do it without it. Just get yourself some gloves. Uh, glasses and you know, a respirator or a face mask. Those are really important. Uh, fourth tip would be even if you are working indoors, you should have some kind of air circulation, whether it be a open window, open door, some kind of fan that sucks air out, not just blows it towards you. First of all, fans kind of to blow air at you is good when it's hot, but you're also blowing dust, particulates, sawdust, anything. That's gonna get on your finish, on the paint. It's gonna fuck it up. Don't use a fan. If you do, have it suck the air away from you. Um, that's best, but you still wanna circulate your air, whether having an open window or you know, an open door or some kind of 
vent, ventilation of any kind, um, it's really important because the fumes from these cans, even if they're just rattle cans, or even if you're just like sanding some stuff, cutting some wood, and the dust gets up all in your face, uh, even with the respirators, man, it's a lot, you know, it's a, uh, you, you want clean air. Um, you don't want to deal with fumes so often. Um, it's not good for your body. You got to take care of your body. Um, and maybe you're a singer, like a guitarist that sings. And, uh, you know, shit's not good. If it's not good for your lungs, not good for your vocal cords, you can't breathe, you can't sing. Why risk it? It takes two seconds to open a window, um, two seconds to put on a mask. Just, just do it. Um, and uh, tip five, which sounds kind of silly, but people forget, uh, have a well-lit area. You know, don't work in the dark. It's my alarm, it's time to put on another coat. Don't work in the dark. Um, get a lamp, get two lamps, do it outside in the sun. Um, you know, it's important to see what you're doing see what your colors look like, see if anything is broken, like uh, an, an extension cord that might have a tear, see what's going on, inspect your inspect your tools, I guess, well, I guess now we're in the bonus round of six, seven, eight, but inspect your tools, make sure everything is in working order, not broken, not busted, no cuts in the lines, um, don't take any chances with tools, good enough is not good enough, it either works or it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't, uh, if it looks like it's broken or has something that might fuck you up, don't use it. I know it's technically late spring, almost summer. I'm wearing long sleeves. I would advise anyone to wear long sleeves. Again, uh, chemicals and particulates and wood dust and stuff might get on your arms and things. I know it's some people might be working in hot areas, indoors or outdoors, and you want to wear short sleeves, go ahead. But uh, I prefer long sleeves. It just keeps you safer. It keeps your skin from drying out. And if you have cool tattoos like me, you don't want your skin to dry out. You want to keep those looking colorful and vibrant and cool. Another bonus tip for you is uh, make a plan before you get started to work. Everybody loves to get started. Hell, that's that's the fun of it. But make a little plan first. You know, if you have to write things down, write things down. That's nothing wrong with that. Um, decide what you're going to cut, what you're going to sand, how you're going to do it. Uh, write down, figure out the steps, you know, you got to clean things first, do a little scotch bright, rough sanding on the, the paints to get the new paints to stick, you might have to prime some wood if they're new, you might be doing a dye where you need that darker dye to go first and the lighter dye or vice versa. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in the moment and forget the order of how you need to do things, when you need to do things. Um, just today, I, I forgot to put a layer of white primer um, on an open grain wood before I started putting colors, which means I started to paint it. I realized I fucked up. I had to stop, wait for it to dry, sand it, ruin some sanding, uh, some sandpaper pads because the paint wasn't 100% dry, still caked on. Slowed me down and uh, it's kind of, you know, I was a little embarrassed. Um, so think about that. You know, if you need to write down a checklist, look at it. What's next? Uh, primer, okay. Paint. Wait 10 minutes. If it says 10 minutes, wait 10 minutes. If it says 15 minutes, wait 15 minutes. Just give it time. If you jump the gun, uh, it's not going to work out the way you want. Uh, people say you should start, let's say, on blank wood first before you start on a guitar. That's probably a good idea. But if you plan stuff out ahead of time and have a good idea of what's going on step by step, you just start on the guitar and save time. That's I know that's what I did. Uh, I didn't jump into things. Um, I just jumped into it, you know, two feet two feet into the water so you know don't be scared um you have a guitar you don't like the finish what are you gonna do sell and get another one yeah sure or just take it apart refinish it get some rattle cans you know have fun you know it's you might be like me and, and you have a lot of free time on your hands and want to get a little creative uh maybe get some posca pens or something and draw on the guitar by hand maybe get some acrylic paints and a brush and, and do it that way find other ways to be creative and don't be scared. What's the worst that happens? It doesn't work out. Put the guitar back together and you have an ugly guitar that's yours. You know, it's a custom instrument. It's the fastest way to get a custom instrument. So, um, have fun guys. Uh, be safe and uh, hopefully when I get done with all these bodies I can show them off to you guys.